What's going on everybody? Welcome to Chop and Brew. I am Chip Walton. This is Brian Adams coming at you. The badass Brian Adams. We're in my kitchen. We got to do a super quick tasting note on a beer called Pig Out Smoked Blonde, mainly because this beer is not going to last long. There might be like a half a gallon left, uh, but it was essential that Brian tasted it and more important that Brian delivers some tasting notes. A little history on Pig Out Smoked Blonde. This was brewed at the Pig Out Barbecue. What's the official name of the Pig Out? It's just Pig Out Beer and Barbecue Fest. Yeah, it's basically a barbecue competition that goes down in Brian's backyard. Just for fun. Yeah, tell me about the Pig Out real quick. Uh, pig the out birthplace of this beer. Of the, this beer? Well, it was in the backyard. That's the birthplace of it. But the background on Pig Out was um, just a bunch of guys getting together, talking smack about barbecues. I said, let's put a competition together. Just a friendly competition. Um, started out at uh, my father-in-law's backyard, and it's finally morphed over to my backyard. Um, so we have usually between f four to seven teams. You have to cook on site. So usually we overwhelm the neighborhood by 7 a.m. with a bunch <laughs> of smoke, and people start looking outside like, what is going on? Um, this year it was very hot, uh, upper 90s with oh probably 80% humidity. Um, so it, it was hot. Even when I got up at 5:30 and started getting things ready, it was already 70 degrees. Um, so yeah, by the end of the day, people were sweating, passing out, <laughs> drinking up all the beer they could. Someone had a little uh, kiddie pool that they were sitting in and, and cooking from standing in it. <laughs> Joe and um, Dave had a kiddie pool. Mm -hmm true homebrew fashion they were using a fan they're basically swamp cooler and oh yeah their feet yeah uh so yeah he's got all these stations there's brisket ribs mm. um atomic Chicken. buffalo turds atomic buffalo turd yeah all that yep. so we hope to do a full episode about the competition i shot video all day that's not for this video this video so in the middle of all that chip walton thought what this thing needs is a giant burner and more smoke so uh i did a brew in a bag it was six pounds uh of castle malt uh belgian pills one pound of great western organic c15 which i got from damo uh damo McCon at work we use that in our hot veil at summit and then the key player of this two pounds Copper Fox Mesquite Wood Smoked Malt. The smoke malt was also a hookup from Damo at work. He used this malt in a smoked Baltic porter that we brewed for a local restaurant called Pizza Luce. It's grown in Virginia, I believe. They call it the Northern Neck. Historical Northern Neck of Virginia. It's floor malted six row, uh, and then dried in a traditional wood fire kiln, smoked by smoldering Southwest U.S. Mesquite Wood atop the kiln rooms cast iron stove. This all goes down at Copper Fox Distillery, Sperryville, Virginia. That's awesome. So, so basically I wanted to make something low gravity. It started at the OG was only 1038. I wanted just kind of something that was inspired by the smoke out day. And this is definitely smoky. Yeah. It, when I first smelled it, I was like, whoa, it reminded me of being in school in Alabama. Those old fires going out in the woods, just mesquite. <laughs> <laughs> so right away I thought of that, but uh, it's not overpowering, it's it's subtle, it's it's a nice addition to a beer. I've, I've never had a beer that smelled like this and tastes yeah. is amazing. You it's mesquite, you know, and what they like to say is that they kind of, it's different than what you would get out of like an apple or a cherry wood, which mm -hmm. tastes way more like smoke, food smoke. This smells like campfire smoke, yep. like creosote kind of... Uh, Tarry kind of smoke and it's really good. It's actually dropped off a lot. This is brewed mid August. Uh, it's August. now mid November, so September. It's three months old, and thank goodness the smoke's fall fallen out a little bit. At first, it was a little Way too, much. too offensive, even for me. And I like smoked beers, but now it's it's evening out. You're you're. I think you're tasting the actual malt side of that smoked malt, a little bit of that C15. But it was two pounds out of about like eight or something. So essentially 25% might have been over the top. If I were to ever do it again and dial it in. You had slots? Yeah, no, it was pearl hops. It was pearl. Half ounce at 60. That was supposed to be all there was. But you know me, I can't leave a brew alone. So I put in another 0.5. I also think that might have added to that initial kind of just 
offensiveness. I think it was the bitter and smoke and everything, but now I'm sure get that now. This is yeah. This is really one of my favorite. The the now the hops are coming across minty a little bit more than anything Dawson kind of noted. So this is a low gravity blonde beer fermented with uh, they called it Mount Hood. It was a special strain that Yeast was given out at CBC this last year. Dawson can't tell us the origin of the yeast strain, but he said, think American ale, think 1332, but a little more attenuative. So not quite as crisp, clean as 1056, but not gonna leave as much malty, kind of thicker body as 1332. I think this turned out really good. I liked it more about a month ago. I think that was the sweet spot. Okay. Now it's almost, the aftertaste is very much like malt forward. Smoke kind of falls out. Yep. I feel like as the taste goes on. Even after we we poured it a couple of minutes ago and it's, some of the aroma's gone already. But yeah. It was good. We've used there. it to like pre-boil some brats. I've used it for like saute when I'm like cooking potatoes or onions, I'll put quarter cup in there and kind of adds to that smokiness without having actual smoke. Did the smokiness stay in the food? A little bit, yeah. The onions take it up, okay. potatoes take it up. Mm. I thought you were cooking outside, didn't you? I know. Um, mm. I don't know what else to say. I'm really, this is actually the, the homebrew I'm the most proud of over the last two years. Yeah. Really clean, considering the elements. You know, it's always weird brewing <laughs> outside of your your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. We were outside. We couldn't get it chilled because it was so hot. Hot. Um, it actually fermented warmer than I would have liked. I like to think that it might even be a little crisper, a little drier, right to the point. If it had been a little more dialed in, but even my basement at that time yeah. had a very hard time of keeping it in the upper 60s. It pretty much was like 70s, mid 70s. So the vital stats: OG 1038, final gravity 1007. Really dry, really crisp, very refreshing. Very crisp. About 4% ABV. I'll post the recipe. And hopefully in the future, you'll see the full episode of the pig out competition because that was a trip. Again, he said you can't do anything oh. off site like food prep, smoking. The only rule is you can't start your fire till 7. 7 a.m. So if you're going to do a brisket, you better be there at 7. 7 a.m. Unless you want to be handing out like yep. rubber cardboard brisket. <laughs> and if you get there at 7 a.m., you get some of the bacon fatty. Oh. So I would definitely brew with this mesquite smoke malt again. I would probably tone it down a little if it was a beer specifically like this but i would like to see it in darker beers as well uh, maybe an amber i'd actually like to see what this tastes like i've always wanted to do a smoked toberfest kind of like mm. a martin style oktoberfest but with a bit of so smoke mm. i had one in um at the homebrew tour episode in new york city that um isaac did and that was just like oh that was so cool so good so Anyway, final thoughts on this beer? Easy to drink, smooth, crisp, clean, very clear. If you're gonna try brewing at home, maybe go with 1056, or maybe go with even like German ale yeast, maybe like a Kolsch yeast I think might be kind of cool. Check out the recipe and some more links to uh, information on the different ingredients in the video description below. Until the next time, we get our smoked malt brew on. Chop for chop. Brew for brew. See you at the pig out. Come on, bring your smoker, fly it in, drive it in, come join us. MF Doom. MF. Yes. Aw, oh, you recording? Gotta get something for the blooper reel. Uh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> the hat would fit tighter if you had hair. <laughs> <laughs> I lost six pounds Friday. Just Friday? Yeah. From being sick? A colonoscopy, man. <laughs> six pounds came out of me in ten minutes. There's your blooper reel. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, what the what what? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, what the what what?